Are you traveling alone and don't know how to make friends? You want to make friends? I'm gonna show you how. Get into it. Welcome back to another video. My name is Taylor, also known as T Fetch Travels here on YouTube. Today I have a really exciting sit down video. I'm going to be explaining five ways that you can meet people here in Bali if you're traveling solo or just looking to make friends. I'm also going to be describing my personal experiences with these different steps. And hopefully you guys are going to be here making friends like I am. It's been an amazing experience and I can't wait to share. So let's get into it. So we're going to start with probably my favorite way to meet people, one of them, and that is Bumble BFF. Honestly, it is a really good app. The BFF option is really awesome because you can kind of see like in the description what the girls like to do, what they want to do, and then you can see their photos. It's basically, if you haven't been on it, it's like the dating app, but just like for friends, like best friends. And I actually met an amazing person on there and now we're like best friends. And through her, I met her other friends who became my other best friends. So it was really cool. And um, I've met some girls we haven't met yet. Um, we're planning on doing like dinner or sunset drinks. So it is a really cool app. There are quite a few people on there. Don't be, don't be ashamed, don't be scared. Everyone's on it, especially now because of COVID. You know, some places are closed or it's just harder to meet people, so everyone's kind of resorting to these apps. And also, Tinder is kind of a good way to meet people. You don't always have to be looking for a relationship or a hookup or anything. You can honestly just make friends, put your Instagram in the bio, they'll add you on Instagram, you guys can message. I have found friends on there, it doesn't always have to be romantic. But, I mean, you can always put in your description what you're looking for if you're just looking for friends. You know, there's a lot of guys who are looking for friends also, you know. I feel like here in Bali, everyone's just kind of... In they're down to meet people and they're down to make friends and just have awesome experiences so highly recommend those two. So Hinge is not really a big thing here so it's mostly just Tinder and Bumble. The second way to meet people is by staying in guest houses. Guest houses are super cheap especially compared to renting out your entire villa. I personally didn't know about guest houses until I came here. I knew about hostels. I've stayed in hostels but not guest houses. My friends, a bunch of my friends have stayed in these guest houses. I rented out my villas for the three months that I'm here so I couldn't cancel it and go stay in there, but if I could go back, I would. I know one of my friends paid around like $200 for the entire month that she stayed, which is insane. If you're renting out your own villa, you'll be paying close to $700, $1,000. It can go up to $2,000 a month, so it's definitely a good way to save money and meet people. And from my understanding, they all became friends. Like everyone who stays in guest houses becomes friends with the people and they do group activities together. I love staying in hostels also because of COVID, a lot of hostels are kind of closed right now, but when the hostels open back up, I highly recommend. And that goes with wherever you go. It doesn't have to be just Bali. I've stayed in plenty of hostels across the world, in Europe, Hawaii, you name it. So highly recommend hostels. Next, another great way to meet people is by going to bars or cafes. I know bars can be a little bit intimidating, especially clubs, but just do it. Get out of your comfort zone. You will meet so many people. A lot of people here especially are alone, so it's really easy to have conversations, and the conversations just flow here. Um, some of my starters are, are you from here? How long have you been here? How long are you staying? Why did you move to Bali? Because we're kind of an island, and it's a lot of, I mean, pretty much everyone you meet isn't really from here, so it's, everyone has an interesting story of why they're here, what they're doing, how long, especially now because of COVID, there's a lot of conversations that you can start. If maybe you're intimidating to go to a bar at night, I love having a sunset drink on the beach, so there are tons of little bars, cafes on the beach that a lot of people are having is venting while they're watching the sunset, so that's another great place to meet people. And then also cafes, cafes, I always see people alone and I love it, everyone's kind of like minding their own business in regards to like they're not like why is she alone or like oh is she waiting on someone because sometimes you do feel a little bit intimidated when you go to other countries but here it's just it's so easy here i mean it's so normal to be alone and just do your own thing so it's really awesome so cafes are really cool you can spark up a conversation with the person next to you the waiter i've talked to amazing servers and sometimes they've been like trying to practice their english with me but um, cafes and restaurants, again, are great places. There are so many amazing cafes in Bali. I want to make a whole video about my favorite ones in a blog. Like, I have a new cafe every single day. I'd love to try. Next, a great way to meet people is by joining some Facebook groups. So there's, like, Digital Nomads. There's Changu Community. There's a bunch of different communities, a female solo traveler network. I've met people from all over the world in Iceland. I met one of my best friends 
So join these group chats and then start asking questions, start being like, hey, does anyone want to meet up? Put yourself out there, just see, and then you'll never know what could happen. You can meet some amazing people. Write a post, be like, hey, I'm Taylor, I'm new here, I want to make friends, I like to make films. So does anyone want to collab or do anything with me? And just see what happens. Add them on Instagram, move on to other socials. There are also some WhatsApp groups here, which I found very helpful. There's like Best of Bali, Changu Community. It is, um, you might have to know someone to get into these, or you could ask someone on these Facebook groups to invite you into these groups. But usually people will post events or things going on, or hey, I want to take a trip to Komodo, who wants to go with me? And it's, again, another great way to meet people. And I can't express how much everyone here is so nice and it's an amazing community and really easy to meet people and make friends. Finally, my last way that you can meet people in Indonesia and Bali is by joining co-working spaces or a gym. I could go on and on about how you can meet people, but I'm trying to make this video short and sweet because a lot of my videos have been quite long, like 15 minutes, so I want to keep it pretty short. But Joining co-working spaces is really awesome. I personally haven't done that yet because I've had my own villa and I've had like a desk and I like to go to cafes instead. But a lot of my friends have joined co-working spaces and they have like a smoothie bar in there. They have little lounge areas, they have Wi-Fi, working desk. It really is, re it's, a, it's a really cool concept and there's a ton of them here in Bali with different prices. So I would recommend staying there. I would definitely if I was staying here longer, but I'm not. And then you could join a gym also. So I go to Bali Factory here in Bali and it is, I mean, everyone goes there. I always see people that I know. It's kind of like the spa in Bali, the gym, but it's an amazing gym. I love it. There's really cool classes and then there's a little spa section so you can easily talk to people in the hot tub. There's like a little cafe. I always get a protein shake so you can talk to people there and the pool. During the day, there's a ton of people. My best advice would just to be to put yourself out there. Don't be afraid of anything. Don't be intimidated. Just you never know what good things could come of it. You can meet your best friend, you can meet your future husband, you can meet anybody. So just put yourself out there, go for it, have the conversation, start the conversation first. Be open, be open-minded, friendly, and just see where that takes you. And I'm pretty sure it's going to take you some amazing places. Take it from me, I've met people from all over the world, and it is why I travel. It's the reason I travel. So... Again, thank you for watching, and subscribe, like, comment, let me know maybe if you have any other ideas on how you can meet people, help the people in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!